Happy Friday, I'm Trace, and welcome to This Week in Discovery News, where we highlight our top stories from the last seven days. Keep an eye out for your comment in our social media ticker. And this week, our stories are about sea monsters, flying cars, and killer asteroids. Our first story of the week is Marine Monster Mystery on South Carolina Beach. A couple of weeks ago, a strange creature washed ashore in South Carolina, sparking speculation that there may be a sea monster in our midst. Like many carcasses, it carried with it the salty stench of mystery. Speculation ran rampant on Facebook and Twitter that this was everything from a dinosaurian sea monster to a toxic spawned chupacabra mutant. We determined that it was probably a sturgeon which is a really big fish. Sturgeon are one of the world's most ancient fish, remaining largely unchanged since about the Cretaceous period 65 million years ago. An Atlantic sturgeon today can grow to about 15 feet long and weigh as much as 500 pounds. That is a monster. 500 pounds is gigantic, unlike the subject of our next story, relatively speaking. No joke, April Fool's asteroid was a near miss. In the early hours of April Fool's Day, a 150-foot wide asteroid passed between us and the moon's orbit. At 143,000 miles away, that's a pretty close shot. Don't have visions of 2012 destruction, though. This asteroid had no chance of hitting us, and even if it had, it was only the size of a jetliner, so this would not have been a kill all the dinosaurs and cause mass extinction asteroid. This would have been more like a nuclear explosion asteroid, so no worries then, right? The scary thing about this is how apparently normal this story is. This is the third asteroid to buzz Earth in the last week. NASA, JPL, and other astronomers are constantly watching the skies for anything that might pose a threat to Earth, but don't worry. We've got Bruce Willis on speed dial, and he could actually afford the thing in our next story. Dutch flying car takes to the skies. Flying cars have long been a dream for commuters and recreational drivers sick of sitting in traffic. So why not stop motoring here on the ground and take to the skies? The Dutch have come up with the personal air and land vehicle that's capable of flying at 4,000 feet for about 315 miles. If it's on the ground with its rotors tucked behind it, it can drive about 756 miles. The top speed in either air or ground is about 112 miles an hour, so not bad. This is very cool technology. Last month, the PAL-V, as it's called, completed its first actual flight, and the inventor said it will revolutionize the era of personal air travel. But before you pull out your credit cards, you might want to know that the cost will be between $330,000 and $400,000. Now, I know you don't watch me for my opinion, but here are two problems with flying cars. One, this flying car requires 550 feet to take off and almost 100 to land. That's not so much a flying car as a driving helicopter. Second, people cannot drive on two dimensions. Forward, backward, left, right, we already suck at that. Add up, down, are we going to get any better? No. So that's it for me. Make sure that you watch This Week in Discovery News every Friday and that you keep commenting and tweeting at us. I read all of your comments. Make sure that you like us on Facebook, that you're following us on Twitter at Discovery underscore News, and that you subscribe to our Discovery Newsletter, which you can do at discoverynews.com. Have a great week, and we'll see you next Friday. When I'm nervous, I clap. <laughs> It's really awkward at group meetings.